What's up, Wargamers? I'm Jonathan Sturrock of White Metal Games. I'm going to be playing with Stormcast. I'm Preston Bernard, and we're going to bring you another bat rep today. We're going to be playing the Alliance of Zinch Chaos, and we're going to be playing the Lair of the Beast scenario today, where we'll fight control over a Lord of Change. It's going to be really fun. We're going to be playing today's game on Fat Matt's Arctic Tundra themed battle mat. Looks great. It's going to be awesome. So here's my list of Stormcasts. We have, we're rocking here the Fulminators with their Stormstrike Glaives. Next up we have the Liberators rocking hammers and shields. The uh, lead uh, Liberator there has a Grand Hammer. Over for my command options we have the Battle Mage. He is a Battle Mage of the Heavens. Gives him Chain Lightning. Thought fit, Stormcast and all. Then we have the man, the myth, the legend, Lord Celestent. All right, so I'm bringing you my Alliance of Zinch Chaos today. We've got our leader here, the Ogroid Thaumaturge. He's got his buddy there. It's a Chaos Familiar going to help him cast some spells. He's backed up by a unit of Chaos Warriors who are coming in with their swords and shields. And then, last but not least, the Chaos Chosen of Zinch, the Elite Warriors. Let's see what damage they can do today. So today we're playing The Beast's Lair. It's a scenario from the General's Handbook for Age of Sigmar. Um, the objective of this scenario is to take control of a dangerous beast, and today we're using the Lord of Change here to represent that. All right, so uh, kind of events, uneventful first turn, we're just uh, armies are advancing towards each other right now. Um, not the best run rolls for my guys. Um, didn't get the Lord to change. Hopefully that'll change next turn, but we'll see. Because um, he's right in my face, so it's either I get him or he's coming at me hardcore. So. Yep, turn one, very slow, uh, but I got the Lord to change for my turn and the next turn coming up. <laughs> I'm gonna, this is very much feeling like the first game we did. I hope I don't roll bad. Oh no, I may have just jinxed myself. But yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Let's go! <laughs> All going to plan, and then I rolled a three. Drat. Yep. Yeah, uh, man, but good combat though. We got a lot of the uh, took out a lot of the Chaos Warriors. Uh, the Lord of Change, when he was working for me, definitely took out more of his troops. So uh, it's it's not like it's an end of the world, but I really wanted to keep that Lord of Zinch around as long as I could, and I lose the uh, first turn. Mm. All right, it's gonna take some some magic dice to do this. All right, so end of turn two, Lord of Change comes slamming into my lines. Of course, I don't get him this turn, unfortunately. Um, but my Chaos Warriors held their own, able to do a little bit of damage back to him. And then uh, I did a tricky maneuver with my Chosen, ran them up the flank, used two of my Destiny dice, the two sixes I rolled at the beginning of the game, to give him a 12-inch charge into his Fulminators. He wasn't expecting that one. So... Uh, it took a little bit of beating in return, but I managed to do a lot of damage to one of the Fulminators, so hopefully that'll work out for me. So this turn was crucial for me. I really needed to get control of the Lord of Change this turn, or else it was going to be really bad news. And luckily, it happened. With the combined arcane might of both him and the ogre, I managed to slay the entire unit of Fulminators. Piece of cake. And then I uh, charged. I chose it into his leader. Did a little bit of damage. Leader cut him down. No big deal. They were born to die anyway. Alright, well it sucks I lost my Fulminators, but... In the end, it's worked out for me. My Lord Celestin is in combat with the Lord of Change, and my uh, Preston has its control of the Lord of Change still, which is that's beneficial to me, especially since I go first. This is really heating up, and it's looking like I might pull a victory out of this yet. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Another 
new turn for me. Um, I got control of the Lord of Change again. It didn't really matter so much this turn because he died uh, to the Lord Celeste before he was able to do anything. But it didn't matter. My ogre was within range to use his fire blast attack on the uh, opponent's wizard and managed to kill him in one hit, which was great. So that's good. I've got my Chaos Warriors all up on the objective. They're getting a plus one to their armor save now, so they're gonna be really hard to get off there. Shit! He killed my battle mage! And his and I wasn't able to win because he had dudes secretly placed six inches within the uh, the lair. So I can't I uh, can't win if that's happening. So uh yeah. I've gotta think of something now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna try and charge in, or he might charge me because he has to turn. Oh, it's getting close, but I think I can still do it. Or I'm probably going to lose, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, so good game? Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. Uh, I was a little worried at first. Uh, it looked kind of grim for me the first couple turns, but I somehow never... managed to pull it back there. This yeah. scene just turned his favor to me. I don't believe that. I think I think I think your Zinch dice were in favor of you towards the end. <laughs> yeah, those Destiny dice definitely helped with some <laughs> crucial charges for sure. Definitely, and uh, thought I had you, but I forgot. I forgot that rule. If you're within a distance of it, I can't win that turn. Mm, yeah, yeah. Clever positioning. Definitely Clever helps. positioning. Definitely. <laughs> totally my plan, of course. <laughs> you got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you want to see more games like this, please subscribe to our YouTube. As always, put your minis where your mouth is. Till next time.